Hey everyone, this is in remembrance of Roger Ebert. And I grew up with Roger Ebert. He is what I call a sign, a major sign on the zeitgeist. And Mr. Ebert, with Gene Siskel and their television show at the movies, I watched religiously when it came on late on Sunday, just before 60 Minutes in that little six o'clock sweet spot there. And the, I, I regard Roger Ebert as the most powerful movie critic ever because he used media at a time when we had comparatively fewer media outlets and he had a signature way of describing whether or not a movie was good or bad. Two thumbs up or two thumbs down or one thumb up or thumb down depending on if it was Siskel or Ebert or Schuster or what have you. But Siskel and Ebert are the guys that I remember the most and love the most. When, when Gene Siskel died in 1999, it's really sad, but I thought, you know, we've got Roger Ebert. We've got one half of the team still here. And so he, he, he lost his voice and unfortunately a, large, a lot of his face to thyroid cancer. But to me, through all that, he was still Roger Ebert. I don't care how you expressed himself, be it through a voice device or on Twitter, didn't matter to me, he was always Roger Ebert. Roger Ebert was a man who commanded our attention because of his love of movies. He was a true movie geek, like me. I didn't always agree with him, though. If there was a movie out that had great special effects, you could guarantee that Roger Ebert was not going to like it. It was just something in him where it doesn't matter if it was Star Wars or what have you. He just, you know, he gave you like one thumb up, one thumb down. I'll never forget that. So are you kidding me? Then Star Trek The Motion Picture, ah, okay. All right, you're going to say Star Trek The Motion Picture wasn't all that good. I like Star Trek The Motion Picture, okay? But, you see my point? Roger Ebert was the king of an era where there was... Well, we, we watched television, only a handful of channels, and we read the newspaper, and we looked to people like him for their opinions, even if we didn't agree with him. That's gone because now we're in an era of people having blogs like myself or movie websites like Rotten Tomatoes where they, you give grades. And now we've got Twitter where one or two or three well-placed tweets can start a butterfly effect that leads to thousands of well-placed tweets. They'd either give a cyber thumbs up or a cyber thumbs down to motion picture. It's a lot more democratic than it used to be. But I kind of like that Roger Ebert, that dictator out there. God rest his soul. God bless him.